Hi again, uh, here we are to continue talking about um, JavaScript and solving problems with strings. And in the last episode, we, we covered this remove extra spaces function. So that was challenge number four. And in this session, what I'd like to do is talk about challenge number five. Okay, so challenge number five is to create a function that converts a string to kebab case. So, you know, the sample looks like this here. It says, hello world, and then it's going to return a string that's all lowercase with a hyphen where the spaces were, okay? And the idea is we want to remove any extra characters too, so the maybe an exclamation point would also be removed, right? Uh, so why would you use this kebab case function? Well, you know, um, right now I'm in GitHub, and when you create a GitHub repo, it converts the name of your repo to kebab case because it uses the name in the URL, right? So the URL doesn't allow certain special cases, uh, special characters. It actually, they, they use the dot. I don't actually like using the dot in there. And they also use uppercase, and I like to do mine all lowercase. So I'm going to do mine as lowercase. But but this is a, a, a very valid use case that's used all the time. So, you know, WordPress and other um, content management systems will generate URLs for articles or stories or products and, you know, um, it'll convert the written name into kebab case to do that, right? So, so let's see. Um, I'm going to scroll down here to problem number five and I've kind of outlined a solution and there's a couple ways you can tackle this one. Um, here's the strategy that I outlined. So the idea is to convert the string to lowercase, step one. Step two is to split the string into an array of characters by splitting on the empty string. So that way you'll have an array of single character strings, and then you can examine each of those characters and see if, if you want to keep them or not. Okay. And step three is to filter out the characters. So what we want to do is we want to filter out um, any character that's not a letter, a number, the space, or the hyphen. Okay. And you can do that a few ways, right? It Like to check against the space, we could compare strings. So we could say, hey, is this variable, is it the empty string or the space? Or is it the string that's the hyphen? For the letters and the numbers, this is kind of, um, you know, tougher, right? Because you'd have to check against like, is it A, is it B, is it C? So what we'll do is we'll use the character code. And the character code is a number that's assigned to every character, right? And we can look at it here. I have a table of all the character codes. So, you know, if I scroll to the top of the table here, you can see that character codes 0 to 31 are control characters. 32 is the space. You know, 41 is the right parentheses. And we can see that the digits are 48 to 57. Okay, so we can look for 48 to 57. And then we can also see that the, the letters are um, 65 to 90 for the uppercase letters. And since I'm going to do mine in lowercase, I'm going to use the numbers 97 to 122, right? 122 is the Z. And it doesn't, I didn't see it here, but the hyphen is number 45. Let's see. Yeah, there's the hyphen right there. Okay, so um, so let's get started, right? So that's our. Oh wait, actually, let's finish here. So so after we filter the characters, so we're gonna look for character thirty-two, the space, forty-eight to fifty-seven, the numbers, ninety-seven to one twenty-two, the letters, lowercase, and forty-five is the hyphen. Okay. After that, we'll remove any extra spaces, and we can use our function that we created previously to do that. And then last step is we're going to split the what's left, like the remaining string, um, split it on the space, and then replace those spaces by joining with the hyphen. Okay. So let's let's um, outline our work here. So let's say um, challenge five. Let's say function kebab. And uh, this will take a string, right? 
and then what do we want to do here? Let's actually let's open that up and read our steps there, right? So let's uh, convert to lowercase. So we'll say lowercase. Let's um, split on the space, right? Or no, split on the empty string, right? Because we'll we'll do that. We'll remove the spaces later, right? And then um, what else here? Uh, oh yeah, filter. So we want to filter on the on the numbers, letters, hyphen, and the the space, and then we want to remove extra spaces, and then we want to split, join, and return. Okay. So, so there's our there's our steps there, right? So let's get started. Right, actually, first maybe we need a a sample string to use. So we'll do test string is, and then let's make this something something good, right? So it'll have a bunch of spaces at the beginning. It'll be have some uppercase letters, hello world, a bunch of exclamation points. Those should get removed, and then let's do some extra spaces in there and. Let's put some uh, some numbers and 77, right? Some extra spaces at the end. Oh, you know what we need is we need a um, we need a word that's hyphenated. So let's say a hyphenated word, right? So, you know, I'm putting this in here because I want to make sure that my function doesn't add an extra space when it converts this, right? Because it might do that, right? So I want to make sure it keeps this and doesn't replace it, right? Or doesn't add an extra hyphen around it. So anyway, so there's our there's our test string. Let's actually write our code here to test this. So we'll say um, kebab the test string. So so far this won't do anything, right? It'll just return undefined. But um, let's let's actually write the code now. Okay. So and, and you can, you can stop now and try this on your own. So if you have some ideas on how you might tackle each one of these steps, you should get, stop now and give that a try. Um, and then you can come back to the video and and review it or check your work, right? Or if you get stuck, you can figure out where you got stuck on which step. Okay. Um, otherwise, I'm going to continue with the solution now. Okay, so first of all, let's um, let's say lower is going to be our string dot to lower case. Okay, so um, hmm, why? What is this guy expected a comma? Oh, because I need the equal sign. There we go. Right. So we'll convert the um, string to lower case. Let's call this letters, right? Um, actually, let's call it characters, because some of the characters might not be a letter, right? So let's say characters, and we'll do uh, the lowercase string dot split, and we'll split on the empty string, so we get all the characters. And now let's, and this should be an array, right? So let's filter it. So let's say filtered equals, you know, characters dot um, filter. And again, filter is takes a, a function. We'll use an arrow function. And this function is going to receive each of the characters from this array. So I'll just put C here for the character. And this is where we're going to do most of our work. OK, so first we need to get the character code. So I'll say const code equals um, C dot character code at. OK, so the character code at method returns the character code. That's the numeric code for each character at the index that you specify. So since this string could have multiple characters in it, it could be like the Gettysburg Address or the lyrics to your favorite song or, or your name or whatever, right? Um, I know that my characters here, each one just, each string in this characters array contains only a single character. So 
I can say, give me the character code for the character at index zero. Okay, so that gives me the code now. So now I can check the code. So let's put an if statement in here and let's say if the code is um, greater than 96, so that would be 97, that would be the lowercase a, and the code is less than 123. So 122 is the Z. We could have done equal to 97, equal to greater than 97, but I'm just going to do greater than. Okay. So if it's less than 123, it should be 122, right? And in that case, it's a lowercase letter. So we're going to return a true because we would like to keep that letter. Okay. So second. Um, second run here. Let's get the numbers. Let's actually mark this. So letters, right? Let's say keep letters, right? And then let's say uh, keep numbers. So the numbers now are, um, what are they? They're 48 to um, 57. So let's say if we're greater than 47, and code is less than 58, right? So that should be the number zero to nine. Let's return a true. Now the code here and the, you know, including the return and the code here is looking pretty similar. And we could combine this with this, but then the the logic statement there, the expression it would look very complicated, might be harder to read. So I think it's better for us to start by writing these as separate lines, and then later we can refactor and, and condense the code if we think that it's needed. Okay, so on the last line here, let's check for the space. Let's say keep space and hyphen. Okay, so if the code equals 32, that's the space, and then we can use the double pipe, right, the vertical bar, and that means or, so it's like, you know, this means and, this has to be true, and this has to be true for us to do this code. Here, if this is true, then we're going to do the code here, or if this is true, we're going to do the code here, okay? So uh, the hyphen was character 45. So if, if you were character 32 or were character 45, we're going to also return a true. And if none of this is true, let's return false. Okay, so we're doing pretty good. We still haven't used this new filtered array, right? So we have this array of characters that has been filtered. So now let's remove the extra spaces from that, okay? So let's um, let's do this. Let's say const um, space free, right? I don't know, uh, remove extra spaces and I can't just pass the filtered array in here because extra spaces um, requires a string. So I'm going to join this array on the, um, the, the empty string. So that puts all the characters in the array back together as a string. And then we'll remove the extra spaces from that. And then our last step is return and let's say space free dot split so we'll split on the space and then join on the hyphen okay so once we've gotten to here with the space free string we should just have a string where all the extra spaces have been condensed to a single space and then what and the spaces on the beginning and end should be gone so we're just going to look through the string for the space and then kind of replace it with the um, the hyphen okay so that wasn't too bad that was actually kind of a lot of code and actually you know this remove extra spaces is actually doing a lot for us too right so let's give it a try so let's run the code here with our test string and uh, see if it works so um, 
I'm going to join. Oh, yeah, that worked pretty good. So it kept the hyphen in the hyphenated word. It removed the commas and replaced them with the hyphen or replaced the spaces with the hyphen. Um, yeah, so I think that that's probably pretty good. Let's let's hold on that. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful. And that was the solution to problem number or challenge number five.